to grow and be of extraordinary character with the grace of God, to start and end all things in obedience to God's will. Some find it very strange because they think that having a Chinese lion dance in church contradicts our Christian faith, but we should not throw away our culture. Our lions are slightly different from the traditional lion dance. We will bring the cross and we will bow to the host. Here you have is Christian school, but at the same time, they see the importance of teaching culture to the students as well. Sometimes we focus so much on academic excellence that we forgot those who are not so likely to be on the books. This stigma of looking at people like this as problematic shouldn't be at all because they are really wonderful people. There's no point being number one in school in academics and you can't work with people outside. We come from a generation where how they portray lion dance is like people fighting all the time. The bad people are the one holding lions. Girls and boys is a very healthy activity for young people. They can be very good at it. We also ensure there is strict discipline, there is no drinking, no smoking. They have nothing at first, no coach, they hit on the tables. We had to borrow bands to bring the students. Then the Archbishop of Kuching gave us Igi, named after St. Ignatius of Loyola, and Kiko, who is St. Francis Xavier. It's very good for our students to learn this from young because later on in life, they would have to bear a lot of responsibilities.